The increasing demand for highly accurate and up-to-date maps presents a challenge for onboard navigation systems due to the often limited storage capacity and performance of the infotainment hardware. To overcome these hardware limitations, hybrid navigation can offload high volumes of data or infrequently use maps to the cloud. The necessary data can then be downloaded and cached onto the head unit on an on-demand basis. Pre-installing the map data for entire product regions requires a lot of storage capacity on the head unit. A complete update of the pre-installed map data would lead to significant transfer costs and processing time. NDS Hybrid Navigation enables us to selectively download and store the most frequently used sections of the map while offloading the rest of the map data to the cloud. In this use case, the driver's most frequently used maps are of the Benelux states. Only these are pre-installed. Occasionally, the driver may wish to visit other countries. For instance, what happens if they would like to travel to Budapest in Hungary? Hybrid navigation enables this by downloading the necessary map data from the cloud. When searching for Budapest, the result list only contains hits from the Benelux states. Budapest cannot be found. When the onboard application is connected to the NDS cloud, the driver gets access to the full Europe map. With hybrid search, the driver can finally find Budapest in Hungary. However, the map of Hungary is not pre-installed on the head unit, so picking any address in Hungary will show an empty location on the map. To avoid this, the navigation system may request the map from the NDS cloud as loadable data. The lowest level NDS tile is immediately loaded to locate the address on the empty map. When selecting a destination, the onboard navigation system will send a request to the NDS cloud database to calculate the route using the latest available map data. The route is calculated in the cloud and immediately transferred to the head unit. An overview map of the route is also downloaded along with the lowest level corridor tiles. To minimize data transfer, map tiles are downloaded in a corridor along the route. Only those tiles required for guidance but missing from the pre-installed map are downloaded into the loadable cache. In this concept, all the corridor tiles and required guidance information was downloaded in advance before starting the navigation. However, in some use cases, a weak network connection may cause preloading of all the necessary map tiles to take too long. Additionally, the driver may deviate from the route or take alternative online routes depending on the constantly changing traffic situation. As a result, preloading all corridor tiles and guidance information for a long route may be infeasible or unnecessary. To solve this problem, the NDS streaming concept is introduced. In this example, the corridor tiles can be downloaded as stream data and only the upfront tiles are cached during guidance. When calculating the same route in streaming mode, no corridor tiles are loaded in advance. When leaving the pre-installed map, the server starts streaming the required tiles and guidance information as a horizon in front of the car, resulting in much lower data transfer rates. When using TomTom Tom online traffic with the Mapscape NDS compilation and here maps, the open LR location referencing requires onboard computing power in the head unit and can result in performance limitations. In this example, the traffic location referencing is processed only on the server and used for online routing. In order to display flow events on the head unit along the route, the traffic information is streamed for the tiles as pre-processed data, as full open LR location referencing for a stream tile is not feasible. Points of interest along the route in the corridor tiles can also be loaded into the persistent loadable cache. The loaded POIs in the corridor can also be used for guidance, like in highway mode, or for generic natural guidance. In another use case, there is no need to store all POI categories on the head unit for pre-installed maps. 
Instead, POIs can be loaded along the route on demand. This can save one gigabyte of storage on the head unit, allowing for smaller and faster incremental updates due to less pre-installed POIs. The size of the junction view can be around 3 to 4 gigabytes for the whole product. Its update size is also significant, however less than 1% of the data is used by the average driver and only in guidance mode. Can junction view be used as a hybrid navigation feature? Possible solutions include offloading junction view data completely into the cloud, loading on demand into the corridor and streaming junction view is also a possibility. If you would like to know more about our solutions, please contact us.